Well, good morning, YouTubers. It's uh, another exciting episode of Mr. Rotter's Neighborhood. Uh, my life's been in utter turmoil, so I decided it's probably best that I just go ahead and make a video I've been wanting to make for quite a long time. Um, today, we're gonna compare cylinder heads for the small block Buick. It's, uh, it's something that I've came up with uh, a while ago. There's varied differences between the cylinder heads, but I have believe I have established um, that any of those heads are interchangeable on the 300 block, meaning that they'd be interchangeable on the 350, the 340, and the 215. But um, just to get started, I'm gonna show you how everything works and what they are. So stay tuned. Okay, our first cylinder head up for comparison is this uh, 1964 Buick 300 cylinder head. Um, the aluminum heads were only used in the 64 only. Um, they have a corresponding intake manifold the ports are smaller, and I'll get to that, I'll show you that, all that, but uh, here's your 1964 cylinder head, uh, aluminum style for the Buick 300. Now the 215 is relatively the same style cylinder head, and matter of fact, you'll find that the part numbers are, are very similar. Um, the big thing that you take away from this is, you see how much of a distance there is between the valves, that means this is a small valve head, it actually has uh, small ports as well, uh, in comparison to the later model heads. Um, the exhaust valve is smaller and the intake valve are both, they're both smaller, okay? But you can see here that it's not a completely full open uh, chamber. There is some quench pad here at the top, uh, which indicates this is more of a, um, well, it's also here at the bottom as well, but this is more of what they would use to, it's not a closed chamber design, it's still a, a hemi, or it's a, semi-hemispherical combustion chamber. Okay, and this is the, the chamber that all Buicks have. Uh, the big blocks are a little bit different. They have a quench pad here at the top. But other than that, um, they're pretty much very similar. Okay, uh, now this aluminum head, this one has a burnt valve uh, on the exhaust side. You can see right there, um, it wasn't happy. And that's probably why they were removed from the engine. But here's a basic breakdown of what the 64 aluminum style cylinder head is okay so you can see the ports are uh, fairly small um I, I guess you have nothing to compare them against and so we'll put them side by side with the uh 65 heads so that you can come you can see the difference in port size but the you can use the aluminum intake manifold from the 64 on a 65 and later engine it's just the ports on the intake manifold are matched to this style cylinder head, and it's a considerably smaller port. Okay, here's your 65 300 head, all right? The 65 head, you notice the valves are almost touching, so it's got a bigger intake and a bigger exhaust valve, and when you compare them, you see the difference between the side, the, how much room is left between the valves. Um, there isn't much of uh, anything left after they've opened up the valve size here but it does retain this quench pad area here at the top and some here at the bottom you also notice that because it's got a larger valve the chamber is actually opened up a little bit around the valve so that the air can flow much better it doesn't shroud the valve with that with the chamber being uh, just round like it is over here okay but then the ports are the big one okay um, let me see if I can arrange these in such a way that you can see them side by side. Okay. Now, the, the big port 65 heads, the intake manifold gasket is actually different. It's taller, it's quarter inch taller. And it's actually a little bit wider. It's about an eighth of an inch wider. But that is what makes all the difference in the world on the difference, the performance difference in these two cylinder heads is the way that the 65 head has a much bigger port and a much bigger valve, okay? <clears throat> and you notice when I blocked off the, the rear port with my hand, it didn't look like a V6 Buick head because that's exactly what the V6 Buick is patterned after. Okay, here's your 60, uh, this is a 66 and up head uh, for a 300 Buick. And this is just my thoughts on them, but if you notice, the valves are about the same as they are the 65. 
but the chamber itself is different. It's, it has, the quench pad is now recessed and they didn't mill as much off the top uh, or off the deck surface of the head uh, to create this uh, chamber similar to what's on the 65 head. Um, now, the reason I believe that is because the 66 and seven, the 340 had come out and they were using the same cylinder heads. So you would just take one from a 300 and put it on a 340, it's the same casting number. And it lowered the compression ratio with that extra stroke from the 340 and the extra dish in the piston or possibly even the same piston. But uh, it just, what it did is was used to manipulate compression ratio and work for two different engines. You gotta remember it's mass production, okay? Now, because the 340 uses a very similar head to this, the 350 Buick later on, you'll see retains this same um, recessed quench pad uh, around the chamber that was never meant to really work with the 350. It was kind of an afterthought uh, or the 340. So, but other than that, the cylinder head is almost the same. The port sizes are the same. The 65 four barrel intake manifold will bolt to a 66 and 67 cylinder head. Um, but these, 66, 67 cylinder heads from a 300 or 340 are probably the least desirable when it comes to um, performance, uh, just because the chamber itself is, is so recessed and it's not an ideal chamber setup. Um, really what would be ideal is either clean this up, uh, remove all this and kind of just blend it into the bowl um, in that way, or not the bowl, but the chamber. And that way, um, you wouldn't have these sharp edges that cause detonation. Okay, so here we go to a 69 350 Buick cylinder head. Um, I know the valve arrangement's different in the center, but what I'm looking at is the chamber. The chamber's been completely opened up and it doesn't have that recess portion that the 65 or that the 67 cylinder head has. It also doesn't have the quench pad that the 65 head had. Uh, that's all gone. And now this is a true open chamber design um, and it's still hemi or semi hemispherical. Um, if you notice the, the the bumps in the chamber move location. So here's your early '67 cylinder head. This one has a square bump right around the plug. This one's rounded and it's moved to the right, and the plug is at an angle similar to uh, the '66 '67 300 head. Okay. but the valve pretty much is the same uh, as the 300 head from 66, 67, where there's very little room between the intake and exhaust valve. And then you have the Rover head. Okay, this is a 2000 Rover four liter. The chamber design is, is quite different uh, than what you see. Um, it's more similar to the 64, 300 Buick head but it, I would have to say it's probably almost very similar to the uh, 215 cylinder head. Now you have some quench pad here at the top. You also have some quench pad here at the bottom uh, in the chamber to pull some of that heat out and to keep it from detonating. You can also see the valves are super duper small. And if you do the research on it, this, this head is supposed to be, um, I think 35 cc. Uh, it's very, or 37 maybe. It's very, very small chamber, um, which means since this head will fit a, a, a Rover 4 liter, it also fit 300 Buick. So if you have a low compression 300 Buick and you just want to up to compression ratio and that's all you want, this is the cylinder head to get. And you can get them in the junkyard for like, I think I paid $185 for two sets of heads or for a set of heads and the valve covers. So, uh, Unique upgrade, it does have smaller ports than the 300 head. So get ready for some serious port velocity and torque, but it, it will like totally fall on its face at high RPM. So this is not an ideal cylinder head, um, especially if you had like a stroker combo 300, where it was say 340 or 350 cubic inches, it definitely would be out of leg at around 4,000 RPM. Uh, the exhaust port size, and the Rover head is considerably smaller than all of the other Buick heads. I don't know why it's so much smaller. I, I'm assuming because it was easier to cast that way. Um, and that they 
you gotta remember that this is a Rover four liter, okay? This, this came in a Land Rover. And the whole idea behind the Land Rover was it had decent torque and fuel economy. It wasn't meant for racing or performance. Some of these engines did end up in like the TBR Griffith and stuff. And I'm sure they had modified cylinder heads because the engines were five liters instead of four. But that's the comparison of your small block Buick Rover V8 family. Um, and here pretty soon I will have that set of 350 Buick heads from 69 sitting on a 300 engine. And we're gonna find out what kind of power it makes difference wise uh, in comparison to these 300 cylinder heads. I've thought about, uh, I think I'm going to actually CC all these in the next video. So everybody has an understanding of how big the chambers actually are. Uh, I do believe the 350 Buick here probably is king uh, just by looking at the way the chamber is. And I have measured them before in the past up at 58 cc. Um, these 67 300 heads, uh, I have done them as well. And I've measured them at 54 and a half cc. Uh, and then you have your 65 model. In my opinion, is probably somewhere around 50 cc, but that's left to be determined when I clean them up. Um, this would up, these 65 heads would up the compression ratio of your 66, 67, 300, or even 340. Uh, it'd be a real simple thing to take a 340 that has 10 and a quarter one compression up to 11 and a half, 12 to one, somewhere around there, um, just by swapping on the set of earlier 65 heads. But that's really all I have for you today. Uh, I'm gonna CC these up for the next video. Then we can have an idea of which one is the best and most, uh, I guess, ideal chamber size for compression, which one has the biggest valves. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, the 350 Buick probably has the same size. This is a 69 350 Buick. It has a smaller valve head than the later ones. The later ones had a bigger exhaust valve, but um, should be about the same size as the 66, 67, 300 head. Okay. That's all I got for you today. Stay tuned for the next video.